Imagine hiking among towering mountains, capturing stunning scenes with hopes of preserving every detail. Later, while reviewing the images, you find the intricate textures you wanted to highlight aren't as sharp as expected. A common challenge for photographers balancing high resolution and compact equipment. But what if Fujifilm could deliver 80 megapixel images from a 40 megapixel sensor? It may sound impossible, but Fujifilm has long led sensor innovation. Now, with the rumored 80 megapixel X-H3, they could redefine digital imaging, merging high detail with exceptional usability for photographers like you. To appreciate where Fujifilm may be heading, it's essential to look at where they are now. Fujifilm's current flagship sensors, like those in the X-H2 and X-T5, feature their unique X-Trans technology. These 40 megapixel sensors are highly regarded, not only for their pixel count, but for how they manage detail and color. The X-Trans Color Filter Array, CFA, employs a unique randomized pattern that eliminates the need for an optical low-pass filter. Typically, a low-pass filter is used to reduce moiré, the wavy lines or interference patterns you sometimes see in fine details, but can also soften the image. By eliminating the low-pass filter, Fujifilm's X-Trans sensors offer greater detail and exceptional color accuracy. Yet Fujifilm has explored other innovative sensor approaches as well. In the past, they developed the EXR sensor technology, which featured a 45-degree rotated CFA to improve color accuracy and reduce moiré. Although EXR technology isn't used in today's X-Series cameras, the underlying principles could be central to achieving the rumored 80 megapixel resolution in the X-H 3.4 megapixel sensor produce 80 megapixel images. To achieve an 80 megapixel resolution from a 40 megapixel sensor, Fujifilm might use a technique known as interpolation. Interpolation is a process that increases image resolution by estimating new pixel values based on existing ones. However, in this rumored X-H 3, it would go beyond simple upscaling. Advanced algorithms would likely leverage the unique properties of Fujifilm's sensor designs to create additional convincing pixels, making the resolution of an 80 megapixel sensor possible without the typical drawbacks. Remember the EXR technology and its 45 degree rotated CFA. This rotated array could be a critical factor in making this 80 megapixel output achievable. When a color filter array is rotated by 45 degrees, it changes how details are captured, reducing aliasing and moiré artifacts that tend to appear in high resolution imagery. In interpolation, this rotated arrangement could provide more accurate foundational data for the algorithms, allowing them to make precise estimations when generating additional pixels. Think of it as giving the camera's processor a better blueprint for filling in details when interpolating. This concept is far from theoretical. Fujifilm has a history of using rotated arrays in their Super CCD sensors, popular in the early 2000s, which produced images with higher resolution than their actual pixel count would suggest. By combining a rotated CFA design with modern sensor advancements and sophisticated image processing, Fujifilm could create an impressive 80 megapixel experience from a 40 megapixel sensor. Sensor. Optimizing performance in low light conditions. Creating a high resolution sensor with outstanding low light performance is a challenging balance. However, Fujifilm could address this by incorporating dual native ISO technology. Dual native ISO enables a sensor to have two base ISO settings where it functions optimally, allowing it to maintain high quality performance even at elevated ISOs. This approach helps reduce noise in low light environments, making it ideal for capturing detailed images in various lighting conditions. If the X-H3's new sensor does have dual native ISO, it could combine high resolution with strong low light capabilities. An common combination, as smaller pixels in high-resolution sensors typically struggle in low-light situations. Potential for 16-bit RAW support. Another exciting possibility for the X-H3 sensor is 16-bit RAW support. Most current cameras capture 14-bit RAW files. While two extra bits may not seem like a lot, they represent a significant increase in the data captured. More bits provide smoother tonal transitions and enhance flexibility in post-processing. This could mean photographers have more creative control, from refining subtle tones to correcting color shifts or boosting shadow details. Blurring the lines between APS-C and medium format and 80 megapixel APS-C sensor would put the X-H3 in a unique position, bridging the gap between APS-C cameras and medium format systems. 
To illustrate this, let's compare it to Fujifilm's GFX series, specifically the GFX 100S, a medium format camera with a 102 megapixel sensor. The GFX 100S is renowned for its excellent detail, tonal range, and dynamic depth, but also has the size and price tag typical of medium format systems. If the X-H3 could offer 80 megapixel resolution, it would push the APS-C sensor format to deliver near medium format quality in a more portable, accessible, and affordable body. Although medium format will still have an edge in overall image quality and depth of field control, an 80 megapixel X-H3 would be a compelling alternative for many photographers. Technical challenges for Fujifilm. While the potential for an 80 megapixel X-H3 is exciting, Fujifilm would face challenges in implementing this technology effectively. Processing power is a significant consideration. Handling 80 megapixel files requires substantial computing resources, both in the camera and during post-processing. Fujifilm would need to ensure that their processors could manage this data load without slowing down performance or draining battery life. Storage is another key factor. Higher resolution files occupy more space, affecting both in-camera storage and long-term archiving solutions for photographers. With larger files, users might need higher capacity memory cards and storage systems to accommodate the increased data, which could have cost and convenience implications. Lens performance is also crucial. Lenses must be able to resolve the fine detail that 80 megapixels demand. Fujifilm's existing lenses are known for their high quality, but they may need to introduce new lenses specifically optimized for such high-resolution sensors. Lastly, how well interpolation performs in real-world scenarios remains to be seen. While Fujifilm is known for implementing its technology with precision, it will be interesting to observe how the interpolation algorithms handle various types of scenes, textures, and lighting conditions, as well as whether they maintain the natural look Fujifilm photographers expect. In conclusion, the possibility of an 80 megapixel X-H3 is thrilling, a tool that could offer photographers exceptional detail without sacrificing portability or low light performance. This camera could meet diverse needs, from capturing fine landscape details to enhancing textures and portraits, and even allowing extensive cropping without losing quality. An 80 megapixel X-H3 would bring high resolution in a compact, manageable body, showcasing Fujifilm's expertise in overcoming technical challenges. Are you excited about this potential innovation? Share your thoughts, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates.